Hello, and welcome back. So, we're gonna start today with a bang. Bang! Um, we're gonna be handing in all of our books. I think level 30 is good enough. I could do level 35, but I think this is good enough. Um, yes, give books. All of them. Except. Logical Atlas of Karashir is important. Are you sure you want to donate it? Yeah. I know why it tells me that. Look at all them books. Look at all them books. That's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. 140,000 XP is not bad. You are level 31. You are level 32. You are level 33. Nice. Not quite a whole tier up, but pretty close. But we're not quite done yet. Um, let's go. Oh, I meant to drop some stuff off at uh, Eid Freehold. We'll have to go do that. I'm going to hand in all of my Resha floor too. Um, this isn't going to be quite as impressive, but it's still not bad. Oh, excuse me. It's actually more impressive. What? 181,000 XP, huh? Okay. Level 34, level 35. Your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points to buy a mutation before rapidly advancing? I don't know, do I? Do I? I guess I do. Um, ever, all of my mutations are kind of in a good spot right now. Um, sure, let's buy a new mutation. Why not? Two-Hearted is pretty good, actually. Sundermind, though. Oh, I do really like Le Regeneration. Regeneration is quite a treat. Sundermind, though, uh, with Clairvoyance, someone even in my comments was saying, like, it's just so nice. Um, it, like, basically you get a free ranged attack. And you can just like destroy the thing is though uh, i'm trying to think of like what i would use this against and um i'm gonna be fighting kagon kagon and on opens the door you know um i don't know if it would do anything to them because they are a slime and i don't think it would affect them uh it would obviously affect cherubs i'm not sure how much it would affect cherubs really like regeneration and it would help me well it wouldn't help me that much it's definitely better in the early game than it is against the late game this would um definitely give us quite a bit of glimmer is the only thing but i think it's good uh and it also means we get to conserve our rapid advancement for uh i think triple jointed Obviously, heightened quickness is very appealing, but I think triple jointed. Because um, that gets us quite a bit higher, and then we get a couple of AV. You swell with the inspiration to name your refractive two face flawless crystal coronet with filters. Sure, let's name it with based on its qualities. It's the clear cap of the stilt grounds. Let's, uh. Well, let's give it an auroral effect. That's kind of splitting the difference between stilt and uh, crystal. I like that. That's very good. Um, we're level 36. We just leveled up six times. Feels good. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling really good about that. Um, we actually have enough mutation points to level get another mutation if we wanted to. Uh, I was kind of hoping I know this is weird, but I was kind of hoping I would get electrical generation. If not electrical generation, then um, precognition like those are the two I would love. I would love either of those two. Uh, electrical generation would mean that we could basically take off like all of our named goods that are giving us electrical generation um, Or at least one of them because they are kind of taking up a slot. They're good. Don't get me wrong But you know the the bulk of their goodness is that it's giving us electrical generation um, We're gonna look at Triple jointed. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, giving it one mutation point will put us over again, and that will mean we have 32 um, agility. Base agility is 31 now. 
one attribute point to increase the agility by one. No, I don't want to do that. I actually think I would prefer to put... Oh, intelligence 29. Yeah, I would love to put it on willpower. That would be amazing, but I'm going to put it on intelligence. Actually, we don't really need to, do we? I'm going to put it on willpower because willpower is lagging behind. When we level up, uh, I think like maybe a couple more times, intelligence will just be 29. And so we don't really need to race to get there. We'll get there, you know, quick enough. And the thing that, you know, like once you've reached level 29 with intelligence, it's almost completely pointless. Like it's almost a complete waste of an attribute point. Um, it's really just gating Tinker 3 is the only thing that it is doing. Um, so we're not, I'm, I'm not a huge, you know, I'm not in a huge hurry to get to Tinker 3. Uh, skill points. Let's look at some skill points. We are going to be going to the t Tomb of the Eaters, by the way. That is definitely happening. Um, Kanatos. What is that? You may sprint. Nah. Each round you are terrified. Nah. Confuse. Um, that might be good. Persuasion might be nice. Uh, definitely we're going to take Callist and, um, under Endurance. Uh, I think I would like to take Juicer as well. Um, weapon expertise. When you make a melee attack with single weapon fighting, there's a 50% chance you immediately make a second. Yeah, let's definitely take that. How come we can't... Oh, we need weapon expertise. And then we can take weapon mastery. Whenever you make a melee attack with a... While well, single weapon fighting, immediately make a second attack for free. Uh, you can definitely question whether or not I should be taking that, considering I haven't been doing all that much fighting. But, um, I think it's worth it. And it'll definitely help a lot. Um, heavy weapon. A sweep would be nice. Sweeping over a 90 degree cone. I, I don't know if it's actually that good. It's it's nice for sure, but I would love mind over body, but you know, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a long while. Tinker 3 would obviously be great, but we can't afford it just yet. Um, Physic. These are new. Staunch wound, nostrum, treat bleeding, poison, illness, disease off, onset. Amputate limb is interesting. Apothecary, healing tonics, you apply last an extra round. That's actually kind of very appealing to me. Uh, tactics. We don't have tactics, huh? Charge. Charge? I, <laughs> I meant to take charge, like, near the beginning of the game. Let's take charge. I know that's a weird thing taking it now, but you know, char the reason charge is good, by the way, if you, in case you missed it, is uh, we get an extra sting with charge. Um, our stinger actually is a automatically applied at the end of a charge. Where does it say that? Uh, may use sting activated abilities to strike your stinger and automatically hit and pen. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Always sting on charge or lunge. So it's it's worth getting charge. Uh, we're gonna make a quick trip to Eat Freehold. We're not doing any shopping there. I already did all my shopping. I'm just going there to drop some stuff off. Where's our chat? Oh, we're standing on it. We have so much stuff. I have some metamorphic polygels, huh? Oh, I had some more books to hand in. Have I looked at all of these? I think I have. I did buy a Leyline Puppeteer's data disc. Someone in the comments was telling me what that is and it sounds very nice. Um, I'm gonna put these things in the chest for now. We'll we'll check them out later. Oh, I meant to sell that tread guard. I'll keep our nuclear cells. It's always good to have some spares on those. Um, I'll keep our flashbangs and our yeah, I, I knew. I know. I said I was gonna get rid of those. Oh, I did find a, a, a Zeta Chrome longsword. Uh, we're gonna put that in the chest. I'm keeping the battle axe just to have a, you no know, option. I'll throw this logical Uther Perturbune in there for now. Um, well, I think I am going to actually switch to the linear cannon. It's turned out to be a favorite of mine. Um, I did buy some box of crayons. No, they didn't end up being nanon crayons. Don't worry about it. You didn't miss anything. 
I, I used it off camera. I figured there was no choice, but I'll tell you what I did do. Let me just go ahead and make sure I don't accidentally exit out of that. So we waste all of our time. Uh, I think you'll, I think you'll appreciate this. I know you probably got me, um, in the background, but I think you would appreciate this if you want to take a look for just a moment. Is I, uh, I went ahead and colored all of our tillies and I made an, a fun little tilly rainbow. Check that out. Isn't that fun? I think that's fun. I like that. Little tilly rainbow. You know, I'm gonna be, uh, I'll be visiting them often. So we may as well. Let's go to uh, Ezra. And we're going to be doing the Tomb of the Eaters. Let's go check out our mark. Where, what is our mark? Our mark is exclamation mark, hash, 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 hash. No, only four hashes. Um, all right, tools, tattoo gun, um, tattoo. Can't tattoo with hostiles nearby. What? Who's hostile? Oh, let's get the quest from this. Who are you? You speak like a warden pen penitent? Mapango? I'd like to meet this Mapango. Accept a quest. It's worth a little bit of XP. Um, hey, Elo. How about the slinth? Oh. I guess she won't have them the slinth joint. Weird. Okay, hold on. Tattoo gun. Tattoo gun. Tattoo. Myself. Um. Sure. Tattoo my forefeet. <laughs> with exclamation mark. Uh, hash, 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 hash. Exclamation mark. Done. And um, I'm going to keep do it white. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just like... I, I can't really... Oh, uh, please don't. I think that is correct. I, I want to keep my colors the same because I'm so used to reading myself as white and gold um, that if I mess with that, then it's going to cause problems for me in, like trying to play the, the actual game. Uh, I know there's a way to turn that off, but I'd rather just like, you know, do it this way. Uh, I know that's kind of a buzzkill uh, and I'm sorry, but it's just it's just easier for me in general i have done things in the past where i'll like paint myself pink um because i think at this point if you are at the point where you're doing tomb of the eaters um i think that you are allowed to call yourself pretty legendary enter the tomb of the eaters all right here we go this is gonna be a multiple part uh thing we are still sated what's our current sated effect i wonder oh it's probably um the banana meal Let's go ahead and um, try and make a new meal. We have a lot of compacted bone now. Choose ingredients. Uh, you know what we're doing. Hulk honey, skulk, and bone meal. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, there it is. Plus two AV, plus four strength, plus four agility. Whenever you perform a critical hit, you gain plus six AV for five turns. That's actually really tempting. But I want this, and I would like to also make that um, a favorite recipe. That is that is the dream meal right there. Add to favorites. There's other options for sure, but I, I just like the passive consistency of that. Enter the Tomb of the Eaters. Here we are. Um... This is a this is a moment. We I I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a moment here to appreciate. I have never gotten to the Tomb of the Eaters in classic mode. I've played this game very cautiously. Um, I've earned as many things as I can in with safe progression. I've taken every precaution and I've done everything I can to uh, take this to its you know its final moment its pinnacle this is the this is what the peak male performance looks like you might not like it but i love it um i'm probably gonna need a uh, nanon 
but I actually do we have a pickaxe instead? I would prefer to have a pick use a pickaxe. Oh, uh, we don't have a pickaxe, do we? It's usually in tools. I usually don't have to look for it in like melee. Uh, we should be fine. I, it sucks though. I don't really want to have to make a nano, a nano pneumatic jackhammer because it, it means unequipping like three or four things. Also, speaking of which, our stinger isn't equipped right now. Or at least it's not set as primary. All right, here we go. You swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. We've done it. We're inspired. Um, we are going to have to deal with the tomb tether, unfortunately. But I'm cool with that. Uh, we are cool with, um... Oh, we could actually make friends with Kagon. I just realized we can just trade him. We don't need to fight him at all. Amazing. Ah, that is... The novelty is uh, honestly rich. I am... I'm really cool with that. Um, if that's the case, actually, there's not really any major threat. So I'm going to go ahead and make a, a, a nano... Nanonomatic... I know this is this is kind of annoying or at least i'm annoyed by it i don't know if you're annoyed by it maybe you're fine with it maybe it's fine i am slightly annoyed by it because it it means doing a lot of uh equipment management that bothers me but i should really like my next playthrough of cut is probably going to be a modded one and when i do that um, I may very well... Ooh. Oh, we're, we're not friends with any of these folk. I wonder why we're not friends with that prism. Um, we have 200 rounds. Yeah, my, my next playthrough is probably going to be a modded playthrough. Because uh, now that I've done, well, I, I really shouldn't speak too soon. We haven't done it yet, but, you know, it's, it's a pretty good run right now. I, I, I really fail to see how it could go too badly. But uh, when or if I do uh, complete a uh, classic run, then I think the next, like obvious thing to do is to, to play with some pretty game-changing mods you know i think that that would be fun we have 160 rounds i stepped in some acid unfortunately is this our staircase up no but i think we're on the right lane i think we're on the east wing i should i know i shouldn't like auto explore because that burns through uh turns Uh, are, we're okay with that, with that gone. Oh, that's a rocket turret, though. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. I want to get rid of that. First of all, let's put our force bubble on. Yeah, that, that rocket turret is going to be a problem. Oh, wait, they're our friend. Never mind. We're friends with robots. Forgot. I don't even have to worry. I, I don't know what I'm worried about. I'm, like, constantly paranoid about every little thing but um actually like every little thing is our friend right now oh whoops I gotta wait for the actual bell you are not recalled as you're already in a resting place okay oh the the rocket turret got destroyed that works for me honestly it being alive was uh, a source of anxiety for sure Okay, um, we seem to have two walls. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, I think that was the center. That was the center Wayne, lane. Wayne, we do need to go and meet the Mapango. Uh, if only thing to... If only just to get that Kagon quest going. I do want to find Kagon. We have a Gibbon. Gibbon is not really cool with us. Oh, wow, Gibbon ate it. 
We've got a dynamic turret tinker. Um, something shot at us? Oh, this booster bot is not our friend and tried to pen us with a, um, a love injector. Fun. That dynamic turret tinker is, um, oh, did I get recalled? No, I didn't. Something, something bizarre happened. You know, I should be using clairvoyance. How come it, oh, right. Charge got bumped into our, uh. That's fine. What was past clairvoyance? Was it really harvest plants? Okay, um, let's put charge at the end. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Clairvoyance at the end, just to keep it nine. I am, I am looking for Kagon. We have a staircase up. Finding Kagon is not necessarily very... Oh, what are you? Oh, you are not a friend. Oh, God, y you both are not a friend. What are you? Pan humor and death pilgrim of the kith of the mirror broker. Okay, um... I... I... Y'all know how I feel about humors. I'm not a fan. I don't know why they are not cool with us, but I am definitely not cool with them. We, we do not mess with humors. Pan humors. That's a new one. Haven't seen too many of them. Okay. I'm assuming this is the top of, Ooh, this is interesting. Are you a legendary? How come, how come legendaries aren't pink? Admired by oozes though. Hey, We'll make friends. They could teach us physic. Sure, I'll learn physic for free. Um, do you have anything to trade? No, you don't. Um, okay, well, that, that was interesting. <laughs> they are now fighting a K-Gon, or just a Gon, not a K-Gon. There is a, um, I forget what this thing's called. Molly, Molly netting. Still haven't met the Mopango yet. Do have to do that. Whether or not I fight or trade with, uh, Kagon is very besides the point. Do I need slime, I wonder, to, um, break bread with Kagon? What is that? What was that? This is something new. Gyre White of Rurmadon and Death Pilgrim. Okay. I'm... Sucks that... We might have actually already met Kagon and I didn't know because my sight is not really working. I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't know what does that specifically. Oh, hey, here we go. We got... We found the Mopango. Tomb Dweller. Um, we might not have found the Mopango. We found a Mopango. I wonder what the, the bell is at. It's just a Coppola. I should, yeah, they're not, they're not Gons. They're just Coppolas. Gelatinous Coppola. Gelatinous Coppola. No, no Kagon yet. Um, we got some mechanists. We have 40 rounds left before uh, we get recalled. There's some tomb tether here, so I'll just I'll just rest here for a moment. Um, rest. 50 rounds. You're not recalled. Cool. Are you Kagon? No, you're not Kagon. This is where clairvoyance would would be helpful, but unfortunately I can't tell which one's Kagon. So I have to go, I, I could look at them, but I actually find it easier to just walk up to them and look at the little thing on the top left corner. 
This is going to be a fairly long haul um, couple of episodes. It's going to take a while. Tomb to, uh, the Tomb of the Eaters is a long dungeon at the best of times. And at the worst of times, it can... Oh, those magnets. Yep. Curse you. Is that... Yeah, that cupola is tangling with the other magnet, which might actually help me. Oh, and the booster bot is... Not my friend. Point defense drone. Really, it's it's exactly valuable. It's it's valued at its proper level, if that makes sense. It's it's not underrated or overrated. It's exactly rated. I I love it. Um, it's very useful. One of the best little extra things you can give yourself. That's not Kagon, right? I didn't check. That is just a normal Capola. I kind of hope I don't bump into any more pan humors. I mean, it's not a big deal if I do. I can always put up my um, my force field and then, you know, attack them at ranged. But still, uh, like, I'm just... I, I really... Humors just scare me. They've... <laughs> I've had way too many runs end from pan... Uh, from humors. I just want to check this is this yeah that's banana grove okay oh sparred him what are you doing here okay i think this is the bottom left corner yeah this is the bottom left corner of the tomb of the eaters we have 40 rounds left. Honestly, getting teleported would not be a big deal. Okay, we haven't explored the zone. Flaming gelatinous. Well, thank you very much, um, Arcanaut. You, uh... Wow. You, you're kind of not doing me any favors right now, to be honest. That is just a normal cupola. Good lord. Dude, can you stop? Just a normal cupola. I might have to end this guy's life. Uh, fortunately, that cupola did the job for me, and they also... There's just a bunch of stuff on the ground now. Uh, I might get recalled any second now. I'm sensing the bell. Oh, there is some... There is a tomb tether right there. Bomber. Okay. Uh, well, I know this area, obviously. I think the proper thing to do is to sweep left or sorry, sorry, sweep right um, in Tomb of the Eaters. I think the Mapengo are in, usually in the top left corner, although I, I don't know. You're not Kagon, right? Nope. Just a normal Coppola. Hola. There's so much trash here. It's kind of amazing. I'm not really... I don't know if I'm finding too much. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I really am checking, like, every single cupola. Oh, what are we at? 160 rounds? Eh, we don't have to... Go to great strains here. Oh, Tromad in the wall. And you have a metamorphic polygel. I'll definitely buy that. I should have enough to afford that. We could sell some books at the very least, but I, I think I have enough trade goods for that. Oh, perfect. We can sell an Eigen rifle. That's that works out like perfectly. Anything else? You have anything anything else? Uh I would like to probably sell one more thing. Uh, probably a chem cell. We don't... Oh, you know what? Let me sell my yuck wheat. There we go. You guys like yuck wheat, right? Yeah, you do. Cool. Just finding dromads in the wall uh, with metamorphic polygel. Love that for me. 
Okay. Um, nice. We have found the Mapengo. This place is always a little bit dicey. Oh god, um, it's about to become a, even more dicey. 2,000 XP for finding the place. Which is nice. Ah, here we go. Um, who are you? Greetings, I am called Yona. Thou seemest unlike most other climbers. I wonder why. Uh, why are you here? Hast thou seen it out there? The spiny eel-like creature that is... Dagasha, angry one, lost child. Thou canst feel the hostility pour from it in waves. Yet it attacketh not. Okay. Um, in my travels I encountered a people, the slint, seeking a new home. <laughs> Wouldst thou press the slint into the fissures of historic stone where we reside? What may they may observe what we do, if you would have them, yes. Please understand that we mean no slight to thee in saying so, but what thou askest, asketh of us is too heavy a weight for thy name to bear. Yeah, I know. Um, what do you know about the tomb? The tomb of the Eaters consisteth of twelve strata, or ten, once thou accountest for transitional levels, the folk catacombs in which thou currently standest. The crematory and columbarium, the two crypts, and six tombs of Cud Sultans above. And thou seekest fortune here. Grid, gird yourself. Gird thyself for disappointment. The tomb playeth host to objects wondrous and profane alike, but little of what surface dwellers considereth treasure. Wondrous and profane. Now I'm curious. I admire thy curiosity and hope thy prudence informeth it. I have an example at hand. Mere days ago, one of our coterie, named Leba, happened upon a repulsive device. A was so shaken after attempting communion with the object that a hath spent less time away from air nook than ever. Or may, may I find Leba? I wish to know more. Our little sanctuary here hath a fissure in its inner walls. Find that gap and thou wilt find Leba. Please be gentle. A hath ever been the most insightful reader among us, but bear the weight of an anxious mind all right well is this it pretty sure this is what they were talking about no that's not it you just have to find Leba. there they are hello agara agara tells me you found some kind of repulsive device ah hey i a most repulsive device. The mind echoes of that communion yet haunteth me. What was so bad about the device? Not the device. Repulsive as a key to a prison doth repulse. To know a key is to know of a prison. Our watched children are bound and lock swalloweth key. And thou freest one. Three remaineth forever. Kaganon hath it now and thou seekest. I will seek to retrieve it then. Thanks. Bye. Uh, and so the great chaos wheel turns and this place, oh, there is our, uh, one creature, Dagasha. Oh, you know what? I don't think I made, I don't think I checked for reputation. Let me see. Disliked by Mollus, hated by the villagers of Tashur. Villagers of Tashur. If it's a big, good one. It's fine. I don't mind sacrificing that. I'd rather make friends with a Mapango. Um, favored by Mapango. We need another, like, good 600 reputation. Mollusks are not cool with us. Have some gossip. Um, learn to cook bone babka. That's fun. What about you? Nope. What about Leba? Does Leba have reputation? I don't see her. Hope she didn't die. Hope she didn't die. Oh, creature's just gonna kind of mill around in there. We have 60 rounds. I may as well wait the 60 rounds in here. Um, but that is gonna be the end of the episode. I hope you are enjoying this uh, series. If you are, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.